Scripture says, watch your life and your doctrine closely. Persevere in them, because by doing so, you will save both yourself and your hearers. This is a word for pastors and Bible teachers. It's also a word of caution for all believers in Jesus. The exhortation is to be careful how you live and what you believe and teach. Obviously, it's an ongoing struggle, because it's necessary to persevere. It says, the consequences of not getting this right may affect your own salvation and that of others. The context of this verse is the warning. The Holy Spirit explicitly says that in later times some will fall away from the faith. The Greek word for fall away in the original text is from the root word apostasia. In English we would say apostasy. In a New Testament sense it means to turn away from Jesus, to give up on him. The imperative in salvation is to stay in faith in Jesus. In faith in Jesus we are safe and secure. Without faith in Jesus there is no salvation. The New Testament shows the danger of not going on in Jesus. In the book of 2 Thessalonians we are told, Let no one in any way deceive you. The day of the Lord won't come unless the apostasy comes first. There will be a falling away from faith in the last days. When Jesus spoke of the signs of the end of the age, he said, Many will stumble, and the love of most will grow cold. But, he said, the one who endures to the end will be saved. Endurance in faith in Jesus is vital. The spiritual battle is over the truth of the simple gospel of Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. Jesus asked, Who do you say I am? Is your hope fixed on him? Why is doctrine important? Sound Bible teaching gives you deep roots in the faith. It may be challenging, it will certainly be the opposite of the values of a fallen world, but it will always point you to Jesus. Bad doctrine will tickle your ears. It will appeal to the flesh, to the desire in the fallen nature to magnify self, the inner voice that says, It's all about me. Focus on Jesus and you take your eyes off yourself. Does the truth of the need to persevere to the end in faith in Jesus unsettle you? It doesn't need to. We aren't called to a loose life. We are in a spiritual battle. We do have to deal with an enemy who prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. But we have a Saviour who is greater than all. We are indwelt by the Holy Spirit. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead lives in us. And we have proof in the Word of God, that He is faithful. In this video series, we've talked a lot about God's purposes for Israel. This should be a comfort. God is faithful. He can be trusted to do what He says. God's promises to the Jews were corporate for the house of Israel. God's promises haven't failed. He has always had a remnant among the Jews who trust Him. Most didn't take Him seriously. Most thought that it was sufficient to say that they would obey him, and then simply put on an appearance of doing so. God called Israel, chose Israel. When they turned away, he called it spiritual adultery. There were consequences for the individuals who acted that way. But God hasn't given up on Israel. God is faithful. God is going to complete what he began. There will be salvation for the whole house of Israel. Trust in the Lord. Keep your heart soft. Seek more of the Holy Spirit. Keep your eyes on Jesus. And he will complete what he began in you.